and I think over the years I've been teaching this for about seven years now, um, and I think there are characteristics that you can attribute to Chinese students. One is that they're generally speaking very diligent. You know, they will treat the course very seriously. After all, they've come from halfway around the world to study here and they're spending lots of money to study here. And generally speaking, we, we have very high um, standards of English that we require from overseas students. But what we're trying to do is take that a little bit further because journalistic English is slightly different English, which is very direct, very punchy. We want people to tell the story very, very quickly. What is more difficult often is um, understanding a different culture because, say, a German or a French student coming here um, would have to be very proficient in English, but the cultural aspects would be quite as different as it is, for, for example, with a Chinese student. And for example, one, one thing I've seen is things like attitudes towards authority um, in, in the West tend to be uh, very different. I mean, we're very challenging with authority and one of the things we try and encourage journalists to do is to ask difficult questions, you know. And I think that's actually harder for Chinese students. I think uh, back home you would be expected to be more respectful of people in authority. You've obviously had to go up to people in a cafe or outside a lecture theatre and say, hey, can you, can I video you and ask you a few questions? And just that process, just being able to do that, whether you're asking Chinese people or, or people from elsewhere, that's quite nerve-wracking. I mean, people, when they first come here, it's one of the exercises that you might have done right at the beginning is to go out and do a little vox pop. Mm -hmm. And people find that so nerve-wracking, you know, to just go up to somebody in the street. Especially if the first two or three people say, I have no time, mm -hmm. go away. And suddenly you think, I, I just can't do this. Um, but after a while, you, you, get used you get used to it. And you get quite, what we say in England, thick-skinned. You know, you're not upset if somebody says they don't want to speak to you. You just move on to the next person, you know, when they graduate from here. And I would say, you know, working in a newsroom, you know, coming up with story ideas, researching them, writing them, finding the material, then going back to the news editor and saying, this is what I've got. And the news editor then saying, actually, I don't like this bit, and I like that bit, and you need to speak to somebody else. I think that is what will help you develop in the future. I think that is quite a hard thing and sometimes I do worry whether the, the approach to journalism that we teach here is always appropriate for overseas students because if we tell you to be very challenging to somebody Nick, like Nick Clegg and then you go back to China and the Deputy Prime Minister visits your town and you uh, are very sort of persistent and maybe slightly aggressive in your questioning um, that might get you into a lot of trouble back home. So sometimes I think, I do worry whether the skills that we teach you here are appropriate. But having said that, I think what you do get out of it, what, you, what hopefully people do get out of it, is a, a healthy scepticism. And by that I mean a question, you know, a questioning so that you don't always take the official line on everything that you try and query things and probe things and research things. I think that's different to being, I think skeptic, skepticism is good, cynicism is bad, but skepticism where you ask yourself, is this true? Can I check it out? Is there any way we can find out what is actually going on? Can we speak to people who've had personal experience of this? I think that's good. They understand the way, not just the Western media works, but the way Western societies work a lot better than they would do if they stayed in China. They understand, I think, better the relationship between politics and journalism and the, the impact that public opinion has on this and the way that politicians manipulate journalists and public opinion to get things going in the direction they, they want them to. 
I think being questioning, being quite independent minded, um, without being rude or aggressive, being um, or, or, or not disrespectful, but being challenging. I think students who are prepared to say to the teacher, actually I don't agree with that, mm -hmm. and it, as long as you've got a good argument to back that up, I think most uh, teachers in British universities will respond to that and say, well why don't you, why don't you agree, what's your ideas, and, and I think students who are prepared to do that probably do best.